UN 영어 뉴스 Travis King in US custody after North Korea expulsion Travis King has not been seen or heard of since he left South Korea in July. US soldier Travis King, who fled from South to North Korea in July, is in American custody after being expelled by Pyongyang, officials say. Private King was transferred into U.S. custody in China before being flown to a U.S. military installation. The 23-year-old reconnaissance specialist illegally crossed into North Korea in July. North Korean media said he had fled because of inhumane treatment and racism within the U.S. military. A senior administration official said on Wednesday that after months of intense diplomacy, Private King had been returned to U.S. hands and had spoken to his family. We can confirm Private King is very happy to be on his way home, and he is very much looking forward to re reuniting with his family. The official said, we are going to guide him through a reintegration process that will address any medical and emotional concerns and ensure we get him in a good place to reunite with his family. The official added that the U.S. made no concessions to secure his release. After being met by U.S. officials in the Chinese border city of Dandong, Prabhi King was taken by a State Department aircraft to a U.S. airbase in South Korea. He was expected to return to U.S. soil on Wednesday afternoon, according to State Department spokesperson Matt Miller. Earlier on Wednesday, North Korea's state-run news agency said the country had decided to remove Private King without offering further details. The relevant body in the Democratic People's Republic of Korea has decided to deport U.S. soldier Travis King, who illegally entered the territory of the Republic in accordance with the laws of the, of the Republic, he said. Prabhi King has been in the army since January 2021 and was in South Korea as part of a unit rotation. Before entering North Korea, he had served two months in detention in South Korea on charges that he assaulted two people and kicked a police car he was released from custody on 10 July. He had been due to return to the U.S. for disciplinary proceedings, but managed to leave the airport and join a guided tour of the border village of Panmunjom on the heavily guarded demilitarized, demilitarized zone DMZ between the two countries. Private King crossed into North Korea while on, on the tour. The senior administration official said that the immediate focus will be on getting him medically evaluated before any potential disciplinary and administrative actions. According to the senior administration official, the U.S. learned earlier this month that North Korea intended, intended to release Private King. Swedish officials traveled to North Korea and brought Private King to its border with China, where he was met by U.S. Ambassador Nicholas Burns. China played a constructive role but did not mediate it, the official added. 
All these pieces have to come together quickly, the U.S. official said. As the U.S. and North Korea have no diplomatic relations, Sweden's embassy in Pyongyang has traditionally negotiated on behalf of the U.S. A Swedish embassy spokesman confirmed that the country had acted within its role as a protective power for the U.S. in North Korea during the King case. Jonathan Franks, a spokesman for Private King's mother, Claudine Gates, said in a statement that she will forever be grateful to the U.S. Army and its partners for a job well done. The statement added that Private King's family does not intend to give any interviews for the foreseeable future. His relatives have previously told the U.S. media that he had experienced discrimination while serving in the U.S. military. They have said his mental health suffered during his time in South Korean custody. In an interview with the Associated, Associated Press News Agency last month, Ms. Gates said her son had so many reasons to come home. I just can't see him or ever wanting to just, just stay in Korea when he has family in America. She said, Frank Aum, a North Korea expert at the Washington DC based U.S. Institute of Peace, said that Private King's 71 day detention was fairly typical in cases of U.S. citizens held in the country who are not perceived to have committed a major crime. Some analysts had speculated Pyongyang might have opted to use the U.S. soldier as a diplomatic bargaining chip. In previous instances, North Korea has insist insisted a senior U.S. representative travel to the country to negotiate any American detainees release, though there is so far no indication that happened in this case. They, North Korea, have believed that may be some way to help restart talks, said Mr. Aung, who was previously a senior advisor on North Korea at the office of the U.S. Secretary of Defense. But it didn't seem like North Korea was interested in doing that this time. That may be a reflection of the fact that North Korea is not interested in engaging with the U.S. at the moment. Mr. Aum added that North Korean officials were also no doubt keen to avoid reinforcing an international perception that they are a major human rights violator, making arbitrary detentions. State Department spokesman Matt Miller said on Wednesday that while the U.S. is open to diplomacy with North Korea, the country's government has repeatedly rejected the possibility. Mick Mulroy, a former Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defense and the CIA paramilitary officer, told the BBC it is a good thing that Private King was being returned to U.S. custody, although he's a young man that made some mistakes. He is a U.S. soldier, and it was important that we did, we did everything we could to bring him home, Mr. Morrowey added.